Hello, and welcome to the Scholarly Communications video series from the Himmelfarb Health Sciences Library. My name is Sarah Hoover, and I'm the Metadata and Scholarly Publishing Librarian at Himmelfarb. Today, we will be briefly talking about open access in your research. Let's get started. During today's brief session, we will cover the following topics. We will define open access, discuss types of open access, explore open access policies at GW, and describe how and where to publish or archive open access content. In its most basic form, open access can be defined as, quote, literature that is digital, online, free of charge, and free of most copyright and licensing restrictions. The model suggested by this definition aims to remedy readership and distribution problems associated with traditional publishing models. But as we will discuss, the question of production as related to open access in its current forms are somewhat more complicated. There are three primary types of open access that we will cover today. First, there is diamond open access, which is open access provided by journals without an associated publication fee. While this model offers clear benefits to both authors and readers, it is the most challenging model from a funding perspective. Next, there is gold open access where free readerships is subsidized by a publication fee known as an article processing charge or APC. Lastly, there is green open access where free readership is enabled by archiving versions of a manuscript known as preprints or postprints in discipline or institution specific repositories. At their core, all open access models try to solve the problem of restrictive readership. Broadening the scope of research readership beyond institutions with expensive journal subscriptions has a number of advantages. First, open access attempts to enable equitable access to research. Open access theoretically means that researchers around the globe are no longer tied to institutional budgets to guarantee access to existing research. Next, many open access models allow for author retention of copyright. This is important because it allows researchers to freely distribute their research rather than being restricted by publisher rights. Lastly, open access ensures that taxpayers have access to government-funded research. Unfortunately, open access publishing and readership models also have their challenges. Gold open access publishing models often entail expensive article processing charges or APCs and green open access often has confusing distribution standards that present barriers for some authors. Nevertheless, there are a few resources that can help you to publish or archive OA versions of your research despite these limits. In 2015, the GW Faculty Senate approved an open access policy for the university in an effort to support access to GW research. At present, there is no university requirement to publish in an open access format due to costs. However, GW faculty are nevertheless encouraged to utilize Green OA and to archive publisher permitted versions of research in a repository. Many funders such as NIH already have open access archiving mandates and therefore researchers should explore OA archiving options when possible. What are some ways to publish your research in an open access format? Both NSF and NIH allow you to include article processing fees in grant proposals. For more information on how to include these fees in grant applications, see our tutorial entitled, Including Article Processing Charges in Funding Proposals. If you are working on a project that is not grant-based, you can also archive a version of your research in a discipline or institution-specific repository. If you are interested in publishing in an open access format, see the Directory of Open Access Journals for recommendations. If you are unable to publish gold open access, then explore green OA alternatives by looking at a discipline or institution specific repository. Open Door is a database of discipline specific open access repositories and Health Sciences Research Commons is an institutional repository for the GW Schools of Medicine and Health Sciences, Public Health, and Nursing. In most cases, publishers do not permit researchers to archive the publisher's version of a manuscript in a repository. They do, however, usually allow for the archiving of a preprint or postprint version of a manuscript. If you're unsure of which version to archive, check out shareyourpaper.org the Sherpa Romeo database, or examples from the Brock University Library. 
In summary, publishing your research in an open access format or archiving research in an OA repository can be helpful for ensuring equitable access to scholarship and maintaining author copyright. Open access models are continuing to evolve, but have some limitations in their current forms. Gold OA publishing generally requires publication funding, but these fees can be often be included in research grant applications. As an alternative, Green Open Access allows researchers to archive OA when publishing funding is not available. Tools such as shareyourpaper.org and the Sherpa Romeo database can help you identify versions of research permitted for archiving. Thank you for taking the time to listen to the session on open access in your research. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please visit our video library at the following link where you can find the associated slides. If you have any questions about the material covered in this session or have questions specific to your own research, don't hesitate to contact us at shoover at gwu.edu. On behalf of the Himmelfarb Library Scholarly Communications Team, thank you for listening.